All right, let's take a look at this other file, which I welcome you to retouch. It's got some pretty great things along with it. So I went ahead and selected all the pieces and put them on their own layer and then put them in a group. I'm gonna turn that off for a second and show you real quickly how I selected each of the pieces using the object selection tool. And what's so great is you just kind of drag it around and the marquee is sucked onto the piece. Now, I am on the wrong layer and do not have sample all layers selected. So let's try this again. Perfect. If it is not exactly what you want, hit Q, zoom in, get the brush, and you can add or subtract in your selection. Q to enter the quick mask, Q to exit. When you have the piece that you want, shift command N to cut it out of the background or command, sorry, shift command J to cut it out of the background or command J to copy it out of the background, all right? So in this case, I went through each of the pieces with the object selection tool, even if they overlapped, did a great job of finding those edges. You've got to be on the background copy though, if you are going to cut it or copy it out of that layer, because it doesn't live on layer seven, it lives on the background layer, right? The background copy. Okay, so I'm gonna hit Command D, get rid of that, and then go to our pieces. So one of the reasons I keep a background copy is it's helpful if I make a mistake or I want to use it um, for retouching. But this background copy in just a minute or two, once we align all these pieces, is not gonna be very helpful. So I'm gonna show you how to make a new background once we get all the pieces aligned. So let's grab our move tool, make sure auto select layer is selected. Uh, I think this is your shoulder. Edit transform. Let's try flipping that vertical. And then command T to scale and rotate. Yeah, so some of these are put upside down on the scanner. So you'll have to either flip them horizontal, flip them vertical, and then do a little bit of transformation. Try not to affect the scale too much. This this one's a pretty clean cut. Mm -hmm. Let me cut down. And zoom out. Let's grab this one. And I'm just going to edit, transform, flip vertical. On the other side, so we have to flip horizontal and move it over here. It's still selected, so we can kind of rotate it into place, match it up with her shoulder. Once we've got it sized, we can use the arrows. We want to make sure that we don't have to do a lot of work. Now, let's Grab the head. Head needs a little bit of alignment. Right? Because these pieces should fit a little better. There we go. Pretty good. All right. Don't worry too much about the edges. We just want to make sure that we've got the curve of the neck lined up with the arm. And then this piece here, we know that there's a very strong line. We want to line that up, edit, transform, flipping it. And then we'll flip 
transform, let's flip it vertical, which means that it was just scanned upside down. Put it in. Perfect. And let's zoom in and then flip. Okay, so we're using that to kind of line up the shoulder. And I think this is probably going to have to go down a little bit. Let's go back just a little bit. That's something really good. This gap is not a problem. So once you've got it, it's looking pretty good. Grab the prop tool. You don't have to select delete prop, please select delete prop pixels because none of the other pixels in here are useful to us. It's just blank. If I am working on digital files, I uncheck delete prop pixels so that I can crop non-destructively. Hit return. Looks pretty good. Now, if I needed a backup for my retouching, I have this, which is not helpful at all. So I'm going to delete my background and delete my background copy. Now, what I'm gonna do is make a stamp visible layer. Shift, Command, Option, E. It puts it on top, but I'm gonna move it all the way to the bottom Outside, let's get it outside of pieces. When we drag it up, and when you see that little blue line above it, there we go. And then drag it down, close pieces. And layer seven is now going to be layer, new layer, background from layer. Mm -hmm. And if I want, I can duplicate it, turn that layer off. So now I have a pretty good background copy that I can use for additional retouching. I'm going to put a curves layer on there. Make sure the curves is above the pieces. Let's see if we got grab our little scrubby hand. Oops. No. I don't want too much. We're getting a very strange line there. And I don't like that. So let's just go to medium contrast. That looks good. The real kind of amazing thing is this black and white. When you zoom in, watch what some of this can do. Grab the scrubby hand. how we can almost get rid of some of those stains. And that for me is incredible because I don't want to retouch all of that. You can get almost rid of it to the point where you are reducing it. You don't even need to correct it, right? If you want to take a little off her face, you can, but the black and white is taking care of so much staining. Some of the staining on her shirt, right? Super, super helpful. You can play with different sliders. Look what happens when you take the yellow slider and you move it around. You'll be able to get rid of parts of the uh, staining on the dress and on her forehead. Really amazing stuff. If you need, like if there's a stain here, if this black and white is working for everything but this stain here, you could just retouch the stain here or make a black and white layer, make another black and white adjustment layer, hit command I to invert it, and then use the brush. So nothing is showing, we're just using the brush to reveal this, and you'll see it's white 
on the layer mask. And then we can use these columns to see about getting rid of it. Make sure I have my pencil. We might, we might not be able to use the slider to get rid of it, but we might be able to use the slider to make it better. If not, then we can always retouch it. And you'll see everything we're doing is just affecting this one spot because that is the black and white. The white is just showing through this. But not a lot of changes are happening. Okay, so it's not really helping. I thought it would do more than that. I'm gonna just leave it. I can retouch that in about 10 seconds. So when you get to this point, shift command S, save it on your computer. Katarina. To a maybe as PST. And now you're ready to make a blank layer at the top. Name it retouching and get started. 